So let's draw what's going on. We've got A and B, and then F of A is like the y values, right? The function at A and the function at B. And they say that N is somewhere between F of A and F of B, strictly between, so it can't equal it. And then they want, um, and then they tell me that F of X is continuous. So there's our picture. Let's see what's going on. So the first question they, they say the inverse of f of x is defined on f of a into f of b. And that seems kind of random. Inverse seems kind of random. Let's see what else they got. Uh, there exists a number c in a, b such that f prime of c equals 0. Now this is more calculus -y. This is like, oh, there's a, that rings a bell. This theorem is Rolle's theorem. Is where's the conclusion for Rolle's theorem? Um, but Rolle's theorem, I don't think we have the criteria the, to make Rolle's theorem come true. Because you can tell that f prime of c does not have to be zero, right? Because if I go from a to b, there does not have to exist some point along this interval such that the derivative is zero. The derivative is never. Like, the way I just drew it, just this line, the derivative always looks like it's like a 1 or something like that. It never has to do anything like that where the derivative is 0. To make Rolle's theorem true, f of a would have had to equal f of b. So, like, if f of a would have equal f of b, then Rolle's theorem works. Rolle's theorem, to get from there to there and be continuous, some spot it has to turn around at. So some spot, the derivative would have to equal 0. So for Rolle's theorem to be true, f of a should equal f of b first. And they never told us that that's true here. So this does not have to be true. We chose an example we saw. It doesn't have to be true. So it's not going to be this guy. Now, here they say f of c is differentiable along here. Uh, they tell us that f of x is continuous, but continuity does not um, imply differentially. Cusps and corners um, have, are where we have difficulties. So here I can draw a counterexample. Here my function is nice and continuous, but it is not differentiable there. Um, same thing here. This one might be easier to see at just a corner. Coming at this side, my slope is positive. Coming at that side, my slope is negative. At that point there, what the heck is a slope? I don't know. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Not differentiable. So continuity does not guarantee differentiability. This one is out. Um, here, there exists a number c on a, b, such that f of c equals n. Now this rings bells as well. This is our intermediate value theorem. Intermediate value theorem, or IVT for short. And I think this is unmanned, because um, if I have to get from f of a to f of b, and my function has to be continuous, I'm not allowed to pick up my pen, there's got to be some point c such that f of c is n. I can't not get a y value. I'm not allowed. So like, if I have to get from here to here, oh, for that value of c, I equal n. Or maybe, maybe I can try to bypass it by going down, but oh no. You know, for that value of c, I equal n some point from here to here I have to be and I can't get around it. Because it's continuous I can't even hop over it and that's what we're going for. So intermediate value theorem, that's the one, we found it, is good.